So welcome to TechnoDad Life and my name is Jeff and so today what we're going to do is go over how to improve your Wi-Fi with heat mapping. And so heat mapping is basically uh, doing a survey using your computer or phone to create a map of the Wi-Fi signal in your office or your home to better place your access points or your Wi-Fi devices to get the best signal for your house or home. Now, traditionally, Wi-Fi heat mapping software is expensive, and let's take a look. So here you can see I brought up some of the cheapest ones. This is VisuWave 550. Acrylic requires a monthly license, and then this Ikahu is almost $10,000. Now there are even more expensive versions of this, but we're looking for something that would work for the home or office. Now, if you have uh, Ubiquity software or TP-Link software, you, you're probably saying, I have that built into my software controllers already. Unfortunately, those are just rough estimates, and this will actually, with the heat mapping, what we'll do is we'll get an actual map of the actual Wi-Fi coverage as it really is, rather than just a rough estimate. So I did find uh, NetSpot, which has a $49 level for home users, and I actually contacted them, and there'll be a coupon code, which I think will give you 10% off of this. They have this free edition down there, but it doesn't actually do the heat mapping part. It just does uh, finds all the different Wi-Fi signals and strength in your area. And I'll show you both what those look like. So once you've decided on an app to install, uh, you can download it and install it. And let's take a look at how that looks. So if we open up the NetSpot app, it basically has two tabs here, Discovery and Survey. So Discovery will show you all the Wi-Fi networks that are available uh, where you are at the moment. So the black ones are the ones that it's currently can connect to. The gray ones, uh, the signal is actually not strong enough to actually uh, connect to at the moment. And you can see here, it gives us the SSID, channel, frequency, bandwidth, security used, vendor, modes, strength level, signal, so on and so forth, and more uh, noise level down here. So this discovery part is included in the free testing of the actual app. Uh, but if you want to do an actual survey, then you actually have to upgrade to like the home edition to actually do the survey. So now if we click on survey, so we have some options here. So we can load a image file. So basically a floor plan of wherever we're doing. We can draw it ourselves. We can use a sample map or a blank map. So I'll show you what a sample map looks like. So you go down to the bottom corner to go there and it will just bring you up a picture of random office space that you can do. So we're going to draw it. So first we need to know the outside dimensions of where we're going to be doing the mapping. And so mine is 60 by 30 but I'm making it a little bit bigger so I have rooms on the side of the map to actually read the information there. Then click continue. And so what it did is it created a space, so 0 to 35 here, and then 0 to 65 across the top. And so along the top here, we can draw lines, polygons, uh, rectangles, circles, and write in text and things like that. So we're going to create a simple drawing of our office. And so how I'm going to do this is just add in squares in the basic shapes of the rooms. Okay, so I've created a basic map of our office. Uh, you can also add text in. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I know what all these rooms are for. Then we're going to click continue down in the bottom right. And so if you want to do active scanning, you can select networks to actively scan. I would just leave it on passive scanning because it uh, takes a while to do the active scanning. Click continue. 
So now for this next part, what we're going to be doing is actually doing the scanning. And so we're going to use our laptop, which is right in front of me. And so I am going to, to get this started. You actually press and hold. And then this little red dot comes up and then that will fill up the circle. And then that is the first point that you've scanned. And so what I suggest doing is as you go around, actually put your laptop in areas where you actually need Wi-Fi besides just trying to get the whole coverage. So if you have a desk or some place where you have a smart TV or something like that, put the laptop where that is so you actually get the Wi-Fi right at where that device is. So now you can see it has first part. So we'll do the same thing as we go around here. Okay, we have our mapping done and I've bathed and showered and so let's take a look at the map. So here I have my current router Wi-Fi over on the left. In the middle we have our TP link and then over here in my office we have the Amada. And so the red dots are all the different spots that I stop. So basically thing, places where I either need Wi-Fi access or there's something there and then just in general in the rooms. Uh, when you do this what happens is you fill around the outside and then the, uh, the middle part automatically fills in, in the inside. So now the really neat thing about this software, well, there's a couple different things. So one is if you're trying to compare access points, you can actually just click on one of these red dots and it, it has this list here and the list will show you how strong each uh, access point is at that point. And so you can see the media link and then test three and the media link 5G, test link 5G and then test two, test two. And so we can do the same thing in my office where the test two is located right next to the access point in the middle of the office. So test three is the strongest there. And then we can go over here right underneath the other one. And you can see there the media link one is tested. So that's one nice thing. Uh, the other things you can do is you can add or subtract different access points. So we can get rid of test two and then we can see how they rate now. And then also you can notice the color has changed a little bit over here on the right because that access point isn't there anymore. So let's eliminate the media link. And there you can see what it looks like. So basically for my office, which is about 600, 600 square feet, I could put an access point anywhere in the office and it will be fine. And this is actually a good reference point for if you're doing home or any office. Uh, basically, pretty much any access point will easily cover 600 square feet. And now if I switch, now if I switch to just the instant on, this is sitting on top of a metal cabinet. You can still see we, we got coverage all the way to the corner there. So anyway, so you can do that. Other things you can do if you go down to the bottom right corner, if we go down to the bottom right corner, we can change our preferences on different things. And if we want to change the map, we can change things like signal level. We can see that's a little different when we take out the noise. We can just do noise level. And you can see there's a lot of noise in my office. And then you can also change other things like quantity of access points, noise level, frequency, a band coverage, and a mode coverage if you do that. It turns all pink, which means it's all Wi-Fi 6 or AX. Now if we go up to the top, we can export this and basically advanced just gives you everything uh, including the printed colored maps. And then quick is just the current visualization, current heat map, 
and then raw data. So if you're printing out reports for a company, say you do a survey, or you want to show your spouse, this is the way that you would do that. So there's access to a user's guide, and then you can ask a question. But the software is pretty straightforward if uh, you, know, you just want a heat map. So that's it for today. Hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe and leave any questions down below. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.